Hello all. In the last part, we saw three of the gods entering the parade. But somebody else was missing. Who is it? Narperun daivattu nannahar nilaiya Ulahaan kaakum unru puri kolhai Palar puhal muvarun thalaivaraha Yemarun nyalan thannil thonri Thamarai bayanda thavil ulai Nanmuha uruvar sutti kaanvar Three almighty there, but for the four-headed Shielding earth their only conviction Three with the prospect of headship wait For his presence on mortal earth to speak for the Creator who perched the lotus and implored that he be released of his confinement. While the three gods, Lord Mahavishnu, Lord Shiva and Lord Indra hurried to meet Lord Muruga, they wanted to greet him over his victory. But Brahma, the four-headed god, the Creator, was missing. The story of Lord Muruga questioning Brahma about Om, the Pranava Mantra, is the reason behind his absence. The story goes like this. When Lord Muruga was a child, he was sent to learn the Vedas from Lord Brahma. And instead of learning the basics like a child should, the child, that is Lord Muruga, asked Brahma the meaning for the Pranava Mantra Om. It is the highest level of knowledge possible. And when Brahma failed to explain the same, Lord Muruga knocked on Brahma's head for not knowing it, ordered his guards to imprison him immediately. Lord Muruga explains the same to his father, Lord Shiva, and thus becomes Tagapan Swami or the Lord to his father. While the three gods speed ahead to meet Lord Muruga, their primary reason behind their hurry is to request him to release Brahma. Without the creator, the entire process of creation has come to a stop. Pahalir tundrum igalil kachi nalve riyarikai padinoru muvaro on badir iratti uyarni lai periyar mean put tanna tondralar mean serp vali kilarnda tanna selavin vali idai tiyarn tanna tiralinar ti pada urumidi tanna Kuralinar Burumia Urugure Marangitram Perumure Konmar Andara Kutpinar Vandudan Karna Tavil Kulhai Madanda Yoda Sinnal Avinan Kudi Asaidalum Uriadan Ada Andre The contrast of daylight seen so vivid. Four of a kind, all the thirty three, bestowed with eighteen highest of heights, seem like massive galaxies of brightest of stars. Moving faster than the fastest winds, valor like the fireborn of the wind, tenor like the loudest thunder, them who know out of their frailty, who know their way to reach him, together to get a glimpse of him with this virtuous she. Thiruvavinan Kudi, the place that he chose to rest. The entire parade shines so brightly because of the presence of ten forms of Lord Vishnu. Lord Shiva, the eight Vasus or the eight elemental gods. They are water, earth, sky, fire, space, sun, moon and the stars. The Ashwini twins are also there. The four kinds of 33 Devas or celestial beings and the 18 great sages who obtain the highest level of godliness are also there. They look like the brightest of all stars gathered in one place and they all look like a galaxy of stars on earth. They all chant to hail the victory of Lord Muruga and their voices in unison sound louder than the loudest of the thunders. Their only notion is to meet the victorious Lord accompanied by Devane. They rest in Tiruvavinan Kudi or the foothills of Parani. Thanks for watching this video. In the next part, we shall move over to the next abode of Lord Muruga.